Aiza Rakemani, I'm back again, but today I'm, I am in my garden. Uh, I've got a small portion of a garden uh, that I do grow vegetables um, for my family. Uh, and I, I had cleared uh, a few weeks ago, I uprooted the green cabbage that was there. They grow very broad and tall. I didn't know much because I've been given by a friend. But now I know I didn't have to put too many of them. So I put, I uprooted the old ones, I cleared the garden, and then I put a few, which will be enough, about five plants, but they grow broad and tall. So it's enough cabbage. And also I put some maize, white season maize, a friend gave me. And they go for about two and, two and a half, three months. So by the time we come to early autumn or mid autumn, let's say end of September, uh, they should be ready. Uh, they are quite good for barbecue, roasting, or even for boiling when they are still soft before they dry up. So I'm looking forward to that. I've also put some green cabbage from the previous season. And uh, what I did is, I normally rank my vegetables and everything from my garden organic so I don't I just use organic materials the peels from the vegetables I normally preserve them and put them in here in the garden so it's quite fertile the soil is very fertile it's all organic and I'm looking forward to mid summer maybe by the end of, beginning of June and then I'll come back and record for you and see maybe how they are doing. What I did, uh, the old stock from the previous cabbage that I uprooted after planting, after digging, uh, digging, and then putting, digging the holes, putting the compost manure, and then the white maize, the green cabbage that I put up, I put on, I put back in the garden. Uh, I then can put this so that when it's hot, when there's, there's hot sun, when it, the sun is very hot, then it will be able to give the plant uh, some shade. And also if I have water, then it's able to retain the moisture or the water so that I don't have to water a lot. And also these stalks with time, they will rot and turn into compost. Just like if you find most of the leaves have now fallen still in this garden, so I dug mixed it with soil and the stock will also in the time uh, rot decompose and turn into manure and also as the maize uh, grow and tall it will cover the garden so it will be all green and nice looking nice uh, looking at the background I've got a, a tree that's my pears tree it's doing really well it has flowered last season it gave us a lot of pears this season it looks promising as well. You can see the flowering, and hopefully I'll record another video as I said, uh, uh, mid June, end of June, and then we we'll see how the pears will be because the pears that time will have started growing. And uh, looking forward uh, <laughs> into what will come out from the garden. I've just finished now, and you can see the trees are here, the whole. And the rest and again reminding you that uh, although today I was telling you about my garden my farming which I'm really proud of I like gardening I uh, just remind you that for the last one year for the last couple of months I've been covering this broad topic which I've got passion about I'm very passionate about on parents and guardians you have got young people under your care at any level in education. What you could do to support them in order for them to get the best out of their education, out of their all around education, at any level, right from primary, secondary, A levels, college, university. Because as a parent or guardian, you can make a difference in your child or the young person under your care education, all around education, by being informed. So I do share some tips, some ideas on what you could do to support those young people under your care in order to get the best out of their all-around education. 
I've also been addressing the young people, like from any level in education, giving some ideas and some tips, uh, sharing my teaching expertise on what you could do in order to get better in your education, all around education, right from young age, primary, secondary, all the way to university, to young adulthood, even as you progress your career. So, reminding that, reminding you that if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, which is Anna G. Kemani, please consider subscribing because you are going to benefit. I've heard from several people from across the world telling me how much they have benefited, even students themselves. So consider it. And you can follow me as well on my Facebook page, which is Excellence in Education Progress. Check out there, I've shared a lot as well. Check out my website as well, which is energyhumanifabrications.com. You get a lot there as well. When you go to my website, there's a chat box. Drop me a message, talk to me through the chat box. And also you can drop me an email uh, through my email address, which is ekimanifabrications at gmail.com. Let me know how I'm doing, how we are progressing, and what else I could do so that uh, uh, this uh, topic I've been covering, looking at different topics, could get better. Is there an area when it comes to parents or guardians and supporting the young people under their education? Or you, you as a young person, is there an area that you'd want me to cover when it comes to all around education and the support needed from the guardians, from the parents, and yourself as a young person? So if you have got a, a certain area you'd want me to cover, uh, let me know, and especially if you have not yet covered it. When you visit my YouTube channel, which again is energy for money. Uh, check out all the videos, and if you find that there's anything that I have not covered yet that you'd be interested in, uh, let me know. And as I've always promised, I'll share my expertise. And when I need to do further research, I'll do it. And then I'll share it all with all of you through my YouTube channel, which again is Anna G. Kemani. Once you subscribe, why not hit the bell so that once I upload a new video, which I do once a month, only once a month, then you can be getting notifications. Why not consider writing my videos? It encourages me. And also, remember to comment. Go to the comment section and comment there. And also check out my videos, the description, and see what, that, what other information I may have shared there. And thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward into meeting you next time as I upload the next video, which will be early May, the month of May. And also as I share the video around June, end of June, on the progress of my garden, because I look forward into that. I thank you for your time, and it's goodbye for now.